My name is Emma Willard. My father was a farmer when I was growing up. He encouraged me to read and learn, and that is why I became a teacher. In 1807, I headed a female academy in Vermont. It was a success, and in 1821, I established my own school for girls in Troy, New York, originally named Troy Female Seminary, renamed later the Emma Willard School in 1895, and it is still growing, going strong today. With both boarding and day students, in some respects, it is the first U.S. institution of serious learning for women. There are many females of ability to whom the business of instructing children is highly acceptable and who would devote all their faculties to their occupation, for they would have no higher pecuniary object to engage their attention and their reputation as instructors they would consider as important. educator gave women first college training here. Emma Hart came to Middlebury in 1807 to take charge of the female academy. After her marriage to Dr. John Willard, the town's first physician, she gave the earliest Colgate instruction for women in America at a seminary in her home during the years 1814 to 1819.